I set my rainbow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. It shall come about when I bring clouds over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the clouds, and I will compassionately remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And never again will the water become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the rainbow is in the clouds and I look at it, I will solemnly remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, This rainbow is the sign of the covenant, solemn pledge, binding agreement, which I have established between me and all living things on the earth. Is this the real rainbow? Let's find out. To discover the roots of the flag, go no further than the story of Gilbert Baker. Gilbert Baker, who created the rainbow flag, was such a unique person. He was genderqueer before there was genderqueer with a full beard and makeup and skirts and high heels. Former San Francisco supervisor Jeff Sheehy and Charlie Beale, an award-winning art director for film and TV, both knew Gilbert. Gilbert was a true artist. Gilbert was a true artist. True artist? But the pride flag has six colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, and violet. That doesn't look like the real rainbow to me. Hey Google, how many colors are in the rainbow? There are seven colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Is this the real rainbow? Gilbert. Gilbert was a true artist. Gilbert was born and raised in Kansas. As a child, he loved art and fashion design, which in a conservative state caused some problems. At one point, Gilbert got drafted into the army. He just threw down his gun and refused to carry it. So they made him a corpsman. They wouldn't kick him out, but they made him a corpsman. So he's a, a medic. That's how Gilbert ended up in San Francisco. Once here, he came out of the closet and met Harvey Milk. In 1978, Milk asked him to design a new symbol for the LGBTQ community, just in time for Pride. The first thing he decided that was that this new symbol should be a flag. Up until then, there, people had used the pink triangle, which was put upon us by the Nazis. And though some people were trying to reclaim it or rebrand it, uh, Gilbert thought it was a downer. Gilbert was drawn to the power of flags. He felt a rainbow would cover everyone. The artist and a group of volunteers then went to work. They created these two magnificent 30 foot by 60 foot rainbow flags that went up on June 25th, 1978 at United Nations Plaza in San Francisco and the rest is history. Today, the flag is recognized around the world. In 2015, a year before Gilbert died, he presented one to President Obama. It was in thanks for lighting up the White House in rainbow colors when gay marriage was legalized. The flag has become a symbol of equality as well as sanctuary. Places where just that little rainbow sticker on a cafe or a store means you're safe here, regardless of your sexual orientation or gender identity. Dante, who is queer, takes nothing for granted. The student plans on advocating for more equality, especially in communities of color. That said, it's time to raise a flag and celebrate pride. Stewart was a true artist. True artist? Interesting enough, the, the original rainbow flag had eight stripes. The, the current one only has six, and that's because when they started to mass produce it, they couldn't find hot pink. <laughs> and so you took out hot pink and turquoise just, just mm -hmm. so they could mass produce the flag, so now it has only uh, six stripes. As the appearance of the rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the surrounding radiance. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory and brilliance of the Lord. And when I saw it, 
I fell face down and I heard a voice of one speaking. At once I was in a special communication with the Spirit, and behold, a throne stood in heaven, with one seated on the throne, and he who sat there appeared like the crystalline sparkle of a jasper stone, and the fiery redness of a sardius stone, and encircling the throne there was a rainbow that looked like the color of an emerald. 